Okay, I'm going to be making a chocolate soap. This is my second attempt. My first one, I made a chocolate, what was it, chocolate covered pumpkins for the um, pumpkin festival in uh, October last year. So this is my second attempt and I used a new soap calculator and it says that it's going to be just perfect. So I'm really excited. I'm using olive oil, coconut uh, what was it? Coconut oil and um, cocoa butter. So, and the cocoa butter smells so delicious. So I'm hoping that a little bit of that smell naturally comes through, but I doubt it. So I got this all measured out. I'm going to stick this on the stove and melt down the solid oils. While that's melting down, I'm going to mix the sodium hydroxide together with the water and let that cool off. Um, and while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and measure out my chocolate powder or my cocoa powder and my super fat and oil all right so the oils are all melted down and have cooled down a little bit I don't want them to get too cool because then it'll solidify again and I don't want that and the the lye is cooler I mean I can you know touch the sides and not burn my hand feels like it's about the same temperature as this so I'm just going to go ahead and mix it in well I guess I could do it like this Now I'm really not sure if this is one that reaches trace quickly or not. So I'm going to try to work slowly. Can you see?
so I can clean this off. I'm going to go ahead and mix in my super fatty, which is castor oil, just so my soap has a nice lather. This has got a lot, a lot of cocoa butter in it. So each bar should have over half an ounce of cocoa butter in it, in theory. Of course, I can't guarantee that or anything. I love these little silicone spatulas because they just get every little drop out. Oops. I don't know how much cocoa powder to put in it, so it's really just going to be an eyeball. This is a two pound batch, so I'm going to do one, about one tablespoon. Let's see how that works out. I'm just trying to mix it in a little bit so then I can use the stick blender because I don't want powder to go everywhere. chocolatey to me. Can you see that color? It looks very not chocolatey. <laughs> looks like something else. So I'm going to do another tablespoon. So that would be one tablespoon per pound. That's chocolatey enough. I don't want it to um, have too much cocoa powder in it because then it'll have a muddy lather, but I don't want it to have too little because then it doesn't look very chocolatey. This smells yummy. Oops, just a very, very light chocolatey smell. It's at a very light trace, and I want to keep it like that to try to prevent air bubbles. Then again, I want it to do a fun little top, so it's almost lose-lose. But I want them to look like nice chocolatey bars. better. 
now it puddles up. I also want this to, I'm going to oven process this, cold process, oven process, because um, I want it to gel so that it has a nice crisp color and just be beautiful. this turns out good, I'm going to do a coffee soap, chocolate espresso or something like that for all my coffee lovers. Coffee's really just delicious. Why not put it on your body? There's a little what to use, what to use. Well, I guess I could use my little knife I was using earlier. You can really tell it's reached trace now. air bubbles, I see them. I'm just going to stick this in the preheated oven for about 30 to 45 minutes at a very, very low temperature to ensure I reach a gel and I'll cut it later. Y'all have a good night. I wanted to show you what gel looks like. Oh, I still got it on the tripod. so. Can you tell it's super, super dark? Oh, I'm so excited. Now I can cut the oven off. This It's been in here for about, this is, it took a while. It's been in here for about 45, 50 minutes. See you at the cut. All right, it's the next morning. This is pretty firm. This is the chocolate soap I made last night. Each bar should have over half an ounce of cocoa butter in it, so I'm hoping it's very nice and moisturizing. See at the top, a little chocolate. I didn't quite stir in, but that's okay. 
looks just like milk chocolate. Mmm, it smells like it too. It's so good. You can see it's still a little it's still a little wet. You see the shine? But it's really hard already, so I know it's gonna be a nice hard bar. I'm cutting it not quite an inch. I'd say it's about three quarters of an inch because I want to make sure I have some samples of this one. This was cold process, oven process. And I don't know if that chocolatey smell is going to stay or not. It's got the cocoa butter in it and then cocoa powder. But there's no extra fragrances or anything like that. 